Let's look at this 480 volt outlet. What would you do if you saw it broken, hanging off the wall as you walked up and were attempting to plug it in? I'll show a picture up on the screen and you can have a look at it, take a minute to think, and then we'll go over what the right answer is. Okay, now you've had some time to think about it, let's go over the right answers. Firstly, never touch a damaged electrical outlet. Don't attempt to plug anything in and don't attempt to fix it yourself. But also, don't walk away. You wanna make sure that no one else comes up and does the wrong thing by plugging something in. So, you have two options. Either stand your guard and ask someone to go and report it to one of the managers or if you're in the field by making a phone call, or designate another person to stand guard and go report it yourself. Importantly, don't leave the area unattended so someone else can walk up and make the same mistake that you almost made. All right, our next example of what would you do is a large piece of metal, this is just for demonstration purposes, falls and lands on the ground, hitting an electrical extension cord. You're not sure whether it's damaged, what would you do? Okay, so did you figure it out? Don't worry, I'll tell you. If a piece of metal falls onto an electrical cord, don't touch it. Don't try to remove the piece of metal because it may have become energized from damaging the cord and now having electricity flowing through it. What you should do is walk over to the plug and unplug it from the outlet. You've now de-energized the electrical cord and made it safe to pick up the metal, take it off the cord, and then examine the cord and check for damage. If the electrical cord was damaged, be sure to report it to an electrician or someone who's qualified to make electrical cord repairs. Okay, so for our final what would you do, you're gonna have to use your imagination. We don't get a lot of rain here in sunny Southern California. This is a real world example that's happened a few times though at field sites where they do get a lot of rain. You're using a welding machine like the one I have pictured here and your 480 cord is running along the ground and it starts to rain and the rain pools on the ground around your 480 volt cord. What would you do? Did you figure it out? I'm sure you did. The right thing to do is stop work. Don't continue working if cords are sitting in pools of water. If it's safe to do so, unplug the 480 volt cord and relocate the cord away from that pool of water. If it's just one pool on the ground, you can probably find a dry location where it's safe to continue working. But if the rain is really coming down and making the entire ground wet with pools of water, then talk to the lead about setting up a system for running your cords over ground so that they're not sitting in the water and exposing the job site to hazards. Okay, so that's it for our first video for our new field safety video series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was informative and fun. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at benjamin.brody at ascehome.com. I'll be doing one of these every week, time permitting, and sending them to you guys right in the field. So I'm looking forward to getting this started. I hope you are too. Stay safe and have a great rest of your week.